δάσκων και ουρών κατάστασης πολλών ενάρχη δίστε συμφοράς χάρη Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Simon Says, a short roleplay one-shots adventure with um, Simon Chippendale, um, our, as our GM, Nick playing as Jonathan, Raz, aka Call Me Raz, playing as Aina, and myself playing as Jacob or Jake. Anyway, this is a short adventure. This is the second week of our initial adventure. Um, I think this is where we finish it. And we might do subsequent ones after, but that's talk for the end of the show. So, Simon, what did you do last night? Last time. <laughs> <laughs> last night is private. Why did I sleep last night? Yeah. I, I know what you did last summer, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, first of all, welcome back, everyone. 
as you said, this is the part one small of the Simon Says Small Adventure. Uh, last session, you guys, you <coughs> pulled into this town uh, called Roselle. And uh, you know, you were tired from traveling. You took, you hired, you rented, you rented a couple of rooms. You know, you got food, and the night was pretty pleasant until uh, um, certain events. Until the that, Fire Nation attack. Uh, until the Fire Nation attack. Yes. <laughs> more exam, oh. more like zombies, but okay. <laughs> yeah, the fire zombie. No. Jacob, our dear warrior, he no, he heard screams in the night and rushed out to investigate. And that's where he miraculously noted or perceived uh, some a creature hunched down, gnawing on an innocent bystander. And he was pretty lucky with his. Uh, he silently moved towards the creature and decapitated it. With, with no problem whatsoever, and I was really pissed about that. But then I chucked some other zombies at them, and it was pretty cool. Uh, afterwards, uh, they had stayed there, those three zombies. They uh, were approached by a couple of guards, or, you know, you, you, know, you went out to search for others. Like guards or other, you know, innocents that were, you know, if you, it could be more zombies out there. Who knows? And uh, you came across two guards. They were like, you uh, know, they were absolutely, you know, terrified. They were like just fatigued, and they were shouting like, "You, you got some." Uh, you, you ordered them to round up the rest of the guards, like, uh, you know, and they told you where some other creatures were, but you instead opted to go to the church. Uh, the church of Valora in the town. To help combat the threat, because uh, who, what else than a holy place to get resources right? And across the, across the way you <clears throat> shot this man uh, in the chest. Come on, something. shot is not a real word. We kind of like, one damage, did a scrape. No, you sh you shot him with an arrow. I mean, you didn't see what you didn't see. What one out of really. three HP. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no yeah. he's a cleric. He's a cleric. He said he used his powers, so if he has powers, he's a cleric. He a needs to at least have a couple of yeah, more but HP. Yeah, it's pretty weak cleric. It's pretty. It's weak. a you know, it was a pretty weak old man. You know, doesn't do much exercise. And, uh, he probably had used uh, the spells that he had at his disposal over the day to cure the needing. And, uh, you know, he told you you could get some holy water at the church, and you picked up six flasks, with six vials, each with one use. And then you went over to the crypt where he had said that there, that the, some days prior one of his uh, altar boys had noticed a man in black cloak going down and it's you know no a little unusual maybe but uh, people wear black on their morning so maybe we just down there to you know pay his respect <laughs> Either way, and you, made, you, ma you made it to the crypt. You made it to the crypt, and when you st when Jacob stepped on the first uh, when he stepped down inside the crypt, he, you heard a maniacal cackle uh, beckoning you to enter his lair or his home ground, to say, to say the least. And that's where we left off. So we're just gonna wait for Nick to come back because I think it's very important that we are uh, that we're all present before we continue. Yep. To be to be honest, I did think when we walked into that courtyard, you would chuck a couple of ten to twelve zombies at us. It's like you open the door to the crypt, and they go. Uh, 
you know, it's you have to you basically what you have to do, this this crypt goes downwards. You know, this is uh, like under the ground. There's like a building uh, over top, but it actually goes down. This is basically a, like a survival it's to a, see how it's a, it's a stair. You, it, it's like a staircase down. How low crypt. can we go <laughs> before we die? Okay, so Nick is present yet again. So adventurers, you are at this crypt, the first step of the crypt. You just heard. I got it. I got it. I heard everything. Uh, one of you is carrying a torch, if I remember correctly. Aina, behind me. Aina. That was me. Okay. Yep. That uh, Nick, uh, when you're not speaking, can you uh, mute your microphone due to it picking up everything? Thank you. Go on. Yes, so Aina was carrying the torch, and you will need it because there is no light. Like I am assuming you are entering the crypt. Yes, I am first. Aina is behind me, and Jonathan is the rest. Okay, so you're walking like uh, I don't walking in a like line, walking a line downwards. Basically, yes. I start praying as soon as I walk in, as fervently as I can. Are you casting a spell? No, just praying. Alright. Um, so, you walk down, the, uh, you walk down this crypt. Um, I kind of want to like... I would walk silently, as silently as I can, and be sure to basically watch out and listen to everything around me. So you're, you're trying to move silently, is that correct? Yes. Well, Another way of saying so. Yeah. I think you have to. Ma if you really want to make si go silent, you have to make a roll for it. Really Let's do it. Let's see. My dexterity is plus one. That's nice. Yeah, see. but you also take min you also take penal penalty for your armor. Uh, I don't have. I don't think I have. Uh, you have a I have, Yes, I have banded mail. So that would be what. I think it's on your character sheet. I can look it up for you. Uh, you should look it up. I don't, I'm not seeing it. It doesn't say that there's any penalty in the asylum. Mm, on, on some on I some things it doesn't say, but like you can you can adjust it however you like. Basically, I roll it and you adjust it by. <laughs> on the on the character sheet, the uh, only does have check penalty for wearing armor, but the the, the character oh, sheet doesn't. Oh, check specify. penalty five. Okay, I found it. All so right. it would be minus three. Minus four. Minus three, thirteen, because I have a plus two, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a minus five in total. Or I would say that you make a little bit of noise. A little bit you of noise. Okay. A little bit of noise. Yeah. You're and not, I you're not, listen uh, to everything around me. You're, you know, you kind of, you know, kind of shinks, but you're not, you're not like super obvious. Okay. It makes a little bit of noise. Does anybody else need need to go, or just they follow my example? And. I mean, I if guess they, they would want, need to. If they want to move silently, they have to make rules for it as well. If they choose to do so. Well, I'll as uh, me being I'll do so as, well. as me being the first, I kind of like walk silently. That means I don't walk that fast. So I guess they would mm -hmm. do the same. Well, I practically preach my entrance. Well, they could. Yeah, they could. No, no, no. You you try to preach words. I I shut your mouth. <laughs> you remember if I put a hand over your mouth. Make, he can make some silent. Like oh no! I I never said. Uh, like he said, he oh. announces. Uh, Are there silent prayers? Beginning. All right. Well, nothing that you know, really. You can, you can basically, you know, just pray. You can yeah, mumble it if you want to. You can whisper it a little bit. You don't have to announce your prayers. You I'm, I'm muttering them to the. I'm whispering them in the ear of the closest person. Next well, that would be hey, Jake, no. I guess. Yes. Aina, or no, I, okay, it would be Aina because that'd be Aina, yeah. Okay. All right, so um... <laughs> we whispered him into Aina's ear. <laughs> Very interesting. Aina, would you roll <laughs> to see how much you enjoy his <laughs> preaching? Sure, first, roll, roll, roll for the move silently first, I think. Yeah, move. Do the move silently. So again, armor penalty is it general or where do I, where did you see that? Because I can't. Uh... It's it's right uh, at the armor class. Look at your AC. Uh, class, 17, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's, it's below that. Uh, it's below the first 
table. I have touch AC, I have flat footed. Oh, uh, short sword, long chain sword, light. chain Oh, there we go. Chain, it's in the armor. Yep. Okay. I think, yeah, I think you muted yourself, Ras. I didn't, I was just talking to myself. Uh, yeah, it's a 10, it's a... Uh, you also uh, make, you know, some noise. You do not, uh, yeah, you, you try a move. Yeah, I'm a little bit distracted by the praying in my ear, and it's kind of probably and moving my armor a lot. Yeah. Nick, are you are you trying to move silently as well? No, you're not moving silently. Does he make? Okay. Does so all of all of you make some kind of noise as you go down this crypt. Okay. And if it's uh, obvious, it's I will tell Jonathan to be quiet. Like shh. It's a little bit obvious. Okay, that's what I do. If he shush me, I will just lean closer to the play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we go down as this. You go down, and it's pretty much pitch black. I'm we have the torch. You have a torch, yes. But, do not see, if you look around, you cannot see the end. The torch only extends so far. You can, oh, see, yeah. a, you can see a couple of pillars, you know, in the... Uh, kind of in the in the room, but you can't actually see the walls around you, really, except for where you know you, where you came from. Okay. Mm, okay. What do you do? You're we, down in the crypt? Yeah, we, the, we go down in the crypt, we continue, I mean, is there a... Oh, we're in the crypt you, right now. You continue down, and you go, you, you come across, you know, you, it opens down to a room, basically. You have no idea how big this room is. We go wall by wall, right? We take the I I I take the wall to my left and we kind of keep on the wall, like mm. we keep the wall near us. If you understand so you what I. Like touch, you want to like go by the wall. Yeah. Okay. How? I mean, you you're like basically holding out your hand or something. So you don't know. Yeah. Trace. Yeah. I'm holding. I'm holding out my hand. I have my sword in my other hand, and I, like, I. So you're not wearing. You're not having your shield on. Actually, I think I, uh, I think I have the shield on and just like basically, I don't need to put the Are hand on. Are you scraping on. your shield? Against no, no, no. I don't need to put the hand on. I just like see the. See I don't the know. I mean, uh, would Jacob think of that? Uh, let's see. What's his intelligence? He's below average intelligence. He's eight. Yeah, he doesn't really like. Yeah, he kind of like, at from time to time, like not constantly. He kind of like bashes his like. Oh, I don't. And it's sword also not very. I mean. He, his actions don't always make that much sense to the rest of you. He's, you know, it's it, it tries his you know his intentions might be the best, but he he additionally make you you make some extra noise in trying to do this. I yeah, because I kind of like okay, am I still the new the wall? Can I bash a bit? Oh, it's still there. Okay, we go on. So you come, you you walk. Uh, it takes takes you a little while in, until you be, you know you come across. Do you, do you did you walk the left or the right? Left or right? One sec. You are right-handed, right? So you would go to the left if you trade if you are using your other hand to trade. Yeah, uh, yeah, walk. you're right. You would go other left. Hand. Yes. Left it is. Okay. Uh, See how far can you actually see with the torch? See. It's, it's like 40, 30, feet? 30 feet and 20 feet dim. Mm -hmm. Or 50, no, it's 30 feet and 15 feet dim. Okay. So I'm just gonna make some small calculation. Let's put them some. How much uh, damage can I throw music. over 45 feet? Yeah. How many fireballs fit in a 45 feet area? Right. <laughs> you can only see like... Feet is... You can make him... Feet is about... Uh, 20 meters? 25 meters? Like the 45 feet. Oh, like. yeah, one feet is... Uh, one feet is not... Six feet is two meters, so... Six feet is not two meters. It's almost... It's, around, it's almost two meters, sure, but... It's you know. uh, 1.80. Sure, yes, okay. 30 feet. Uh, you got me there. It's okay. I'll just use a... Uh, okay, that sounds reasonable enough. Okay, as you trace this wall... Uh, I think I need... I think I need... 
How are you walking? Are you still walking in the line? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Jacob, so. make me a perception. Oh no, just make me a spot check. Spot. Let me check. Yeah. Let me check my spot it. check. Minus two. Fuck. This is why rogues are so necessary. Necessary, you know. They are. Twenties are necessary they too. So but necessary. They so are necessary. They so are necessary. Okay. You, you I, I would, I would, I would gather. I don't even see the wall for a bit. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you, you're like, for some reason, you know, you can you look, close your eyes or something. <laughs> you know, you get some dust in your no, eyes. Yeah, you this is what it. happens. Like, I, I hear the prayers and I'm like so moved of them. I kind of close my eyes and I, I, I chant a side prayer to myself as I bump into the, the wall that I see. And like fuck, okay, 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 I need to wake up, and then I continue. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let me just uh, roll some dice here. Your bumper track is a juggernaut. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, quick! Oh, everyone, give me a listen. I love me some listen checks because I got points. Listen. I think it's the same. It's a minus two, isn't it? Yeah, I still minus two, that's mine. Twenty. Right. Twenty! Good. Nice. Uh, Nick, you had to do... Uh, okay. So, Aina, uh, you, in the distance you hear this soft moaning sounds. No. Almost like it, they're... It sounds like they are slowly moving towards where you are. Well, in that case, I'm gonna attention the party, like put a hand over, over um, Jacob and to the back of me, and say, like murmur. There's a couple of them ahead, or there's something ahead. Tread lightly. Yeah. And, uh, I guess I'm gonna try and crouch to crouch down and draw out both of my swords as in, in preparation. Okay. Do you do you have the torch in one hand or a sword in another? Um. On second thought, I'm gonna give the torch to Jacob because in front, so he can see them if they come okay, close. Can I keep Jacob? Can I keep my torch in my shield arm? No, I still keep my... no, no, no. Okay, no, I point at either. I point at Jonathan. Jonathan, right? And I mean, I'm holding my morning star. I can't take the torch. You're it's holding a, a morning star, but that's a one-handed one 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 hand. weapon. Yeah. Oh, then I'll take the torch. Okay. Right then. So that's. Uh, so do you? So Aina picks up her swords. Yeah, I draw my long and short sword. Uh, Nick, can you mute yourself? Again? Okay. okay. So you alert the party, and lo and behold, in your sight they are. Pull up the sheet here. Okay. You see four creatures slowly shuffling. Uh, not shuffling. No. They are slowly moving towards you guys. Uh, maybe it made too much noise. They got alert to your presence. Who knows? Either so way, when you say I think creatures. I think... Do you mean two-headed dragons or three-headed dragons? <laughs> They're slow moving creatures, you can and you can make out that they are One al almost the same as How many? the four of them slowly I, moving. Yeah, we put ourselves in the same positions they again. They are not uh, charging, they are not slowly moaning, slowly going towards you, but you are at the wall. So you see them like they are slowly encroaching you, like they're coming. Yeah, I move in the front, I put my shield up and again the the, sh the like defensive stance, which I don't have the feet for, but I'm just doing it in like huh? as best as I can. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't think you get any plus for that, right? No, I mean mechanically, I don't get any pluses, but that's what John Jacob would do. You are do. putting yourself ahead of. Yes, uh, I'm putting Aina myself and between. Jonathan. Yep, and I I say, get ready. Okay, so I think we have to roll for the initiative actually. Because Aina did not pull out her bow. You have Actually, I think there's an action I can take. Uh, I think I can prepare for a charge. I don't have the weapon to stop a charge, but I think I can prepare for a charge as a, as an action. 
do you want to receive to set the receive charge? Or? Basically, yes. Like, um, I'm just sitting there waiting for them to charge. Oh. I have, is this in the rulebook set? I'm not uh, There is a, uh, an action uh, that you can do with basically a spear or something to receive a charging unit. I'm not sure if you can do it without a spear. It's a weapon I think thing. you have to have a long weapon like a spear or something that has reach. I don't think you can set it to receive. I mean, you can... I mean... You can put yourself ahead of J yeah, uh, Jonathan and Aina and they probably will uh, know there, no, if these are the mi still the mindless creatures that you thought you saw before, they will probably go for you first. Yeah, not not that, probably. but I'm kind of like thinking they would charge again and like shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're not looking like they're charging, but I think we should roll for it now. How uh, a reference? Just how many feet? More like? Yeah, is they it? were cl no, they were slowly closing in on you. Okay. And you can see them now, so I guess they're 20 or 30 feet, you know, approaching you, okay. I would say. If you say that, uh, if the torch, uh, you can you can make them out, so it probably are like, yeah, just outside the torch area. Okay, I, uh, yeah, that's really, let's go for initiative. Do, again, uh, D10 only? Or individual? No. Yeah, but individual. Yeah, individual. Yeah. individual. Initiative plus one. Yes! I rolled a d10, my bad. You should re roll that. I'm slow. I might do the same initiative for all the zombies, actually. Yeah, if they're like, unless they're unique creatures, you should roll. Yeah, they're not. They're, for all sake, they're not really that unique. Okay. okay, so... Both Jacob and I and I, you go first. Okay, I don't do anything because I won't charge into four creatures. Just, I basically keep my action. I still do the same thing, I'm waiting. <laughs> You're just waiting? Yes, I am waiting yeah. in my shield up. Sword up. Waiting. It's fine, but you 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 might not make an you might not get you cannot get an attack in in, in if that's the case unless there's next initiative yeah. I guess then. Okay. So, uh, and you guys are directly behind him at the sides. What are you? Are you Nick? Are you at this? I'm on the right side. You're on the right side. Are you, Aina, are you on this left side then? Sure, I'll be on the left side. Yeah, yes, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Aina, you can make an action. Um, so before please. I make an action, I want to take a look around. What's around me? What can I see? As far as the torch. You can see walls. You see a okay. couple of creatures encroaching you. You can see a couple of pillars. And uh, uh, make me a. Spot, yeah, just you know, spot check. Because that's you know, now we're doing initiative, so just make me another spot check. Nice. Four, fourteen. Ah, oh, that's close enough. You can see a couple of, uh, you know, at the at the pillars, you can make out that there are additional, you know, torches, you know, hanging, like uh, not uh, unlit torch. Unlit, yeah. Unlit torches. Got it. Okay. Um. Is that your action for this round? Um, I'm going a little bit forward and kind of beckon uh, J uh, Jacob to go ahead, but uh, seeing as he doesn't move, I'm just gonna. I, uh, wait. I we're going at the same time, so if like if you move behind me and beckon me to move, I I will move. You can make some move actions. Sure. Yeah, I I beckon him to move a little bit forward. I move okay. as but, uh, long as he beckons me. I'm yeah. still keeping Just myself in front of her. Ten feet, five, ten feet or so. And yeah. it's the yeah. If you do that, then the zombies are shuffled towards you now. And I would say that they can. Since Jacob was a little bit ahead, I think. First of all, 
it seemed the two of two of the zombies uh, walk towards uh, like they're going towards you, uh, Jacob. But the, the other ones seem to be steering off and going. One goes for Aina, and one goes and one seems to be you know, moving towards Jonathan. Uh, I don't think they're twenty feet. No, they can probably make an attack. I think. Not on Nick. Let me move forward. Yeah, they can make on Ina and on Jacob. But I think Jonathan. Uh, once again, how does Ina. how does the zombie make it to Ina? Seeing as I'm reacting in front of him. Well, your shield is not No, I'm just like figuring if he, you, if she's. They're not, you know, they're not like clumping up on one square. Ah, oh, okay, like, okay, I got They it. are like spread out. They are spread out. Like moving, like to the. Like, I'd say like this maybe. So they're not you're not really You can't basically ta tank them all is what I'm saying. I got it. It's okay. Okay, so they're as they approach as well, make out that there are when they approach even further, you can Basically, make out that they seem to be a little less uh, ferocious than the others that you encounter. Just have to find their. Here we go. By the way, Nick, Afro time. 